Breaking, breaking, update, update. R. Kelly's attorney cryptic social media post. Now let's get to it. Has there been a miscarriage of justice? And in my mind, a miscarriage of justice occurs when the government oversteps, when they overreach, when they violate someone's constitutional right to a fair trial. And then I ask myself, is there anything I can do about it? Can I possibly get this individual some type of remedy, some type of relief? And when I looked at R. Kelly's case, I found that both of those things were true. And uh, so I, I had no reservations about taking R. Kelly's case. What I see was a travesty of justice and how the process worked. And when the process doesn't work, the outcomes are not fair, they're not righteous. And as a result, uh, I took R. Kelly's case. And I don't keep up with the days and time no more. I just chase a bag. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mix. Like this video, share this video. For those who are new to my channel, I pre-record most of my videos. I typically go live on the weekend, you guys. So head on over to the live section and check out some of my content. Again, I typically go live on the weekends, maybe once or twice out the weekend. Hopefully I'll be going live more often in the future. If you are interested in donating, here's my thanks as you see it right here, right here. Here, all donations go towards content enhancement creation. Further donation information is in the description section of this post. You have the Zale, the Cash App. Thank you very much in advance, you guys. Donating to my channel, The Mix, helps content creators like myself grow and evolve from a content creation perspective. It takes resources, you guys. I run a, a small channel like myself, but hey, it's, it's big in heart. It's big in heart. I hope you get that. But as you can see what this video is going to be about, yes, update cryptic legal post. Yes, Miss Attorney Jennifer Pongeen. R. Kelly's attorney posted a cryptic message on X, formerly known as Twitter, I think a couple days ago before the wait. Sorry for the late here on my channel. But if you guys, let me just say this really quickly. If you have kids, school age kids that are getting back into school, as you know, a parent, you still got to take care of your priorities. So that's what I kind of been doing, you guys. School is starting again soon for a lot of kids across america and probably across the world so congrats to those who are into whatever next educational career chapter <laughs> congrats to those congrats 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 and it could be a lot sometimes on a parents you know just getting things together even for those who have gone off to college or on their way to college etc etc but yeah so again sorry for the wait sorry for the late but this cryptic post from attorney jennifer Bergine, as you've seen was posted on x formerly known as twitter so i'm going to go ahead and head on over there you guys and let's see what they're talking about in the chat and if there's any other updates and then i want to share a couple screens with you guys regarding mr robert kelly's case and do me a favor you guys get this video out especially for those who are in support of mr robert kelly share this video like this video like share subscribe to my channel the mix i appreciate you guys this is my r kelly post you guys i do it because it, for those who do not know check out a lot of my videos pre-recorded and some live videos i've done in the past on Mr. Robert Kelly. I do believe it is a great miscarriage of justice. As you've seen from that flashback clip snippet I um, shared in the beginning, I could not agree with Attorney Jennifer Bajin. I could not agree with her more. But yeah, I do believe uh, his cases is a great miscarriage of justice. And I've always said in previous legal content, video related videos or updates, regardless if it's celebrity or not, if it's just a regular person, you know, video I'm doing, it, everyone has constitutional rights period point blank even if their hand is caught in a cookie jar it is the duty constitution wise a letter of the law for prosecutors to follow rules constitution when initiating any type of indictment and prosec prosecution on anyone i don't care if they you think they is the person or the individuals are guilty as ever they still have constitutional rights and if that is violated voila that's why you have these appeals that's how uh, you have courts overturning things and again the person could possibly be guilty as day you know so but in this case i do not believe mr robert kelly is guilty of what they said he did in those convictions so head on over to my channel check out some of the videos uh, also do your own research your google researches and try to put things together for yourself your own thought process don't just solely go off these media channels you have to do a little bit more digging yourselves read the transcripts and, and make it make sense you guys so but let's head on over to x and then i'll come back with more okay you guys this is x formerly known as twitter attorney jennifer bonjean as you can see you guys excuse the language <laughs> but hey this is her x account and look what she posted like i said you've seen that um still image shot of this same post and she posted this on her x account and let's jump into the comments don't do not up with me what y'all think this mean somebody said yep yeah, we got that <laughs> period 
Somebody said, who in the H had the audacity to piss this woman off? Leave her alone. Let her handle her business. Somebody said, this is the energy I like to see. Being humble gets no respect. You got to show people better than you, than you can. This person said, I don't know what happened, but tell them, Jennifer by Jean. Girl, you remind me of me. This person said, and that's on period. This person said, now you know. This person said, she is unuckable with. You have been warned. This person said, not sure what happened, but my God, please leave this lady alone and let her do her work. This person said, anyone trying to uck with you, tell them. This person said, I really know that nobody wants to do that. It'll be trouble. This person said, it wasn't me. This person said, oh, ish. <laughs> okay, you guys, what do you think Attorney Jennifer Bajin mean? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What do you think she means? Okay, everyone, this is Attorney Jennifer Bajin's legal website. Head on over here at your own leisure. Not only just handle Mr. Robert Kelly cases or cases I known you know celebrity like people she handles everyday cases looks like, looks like too based off her website so here let me see so this is home this is just her come here at your own leisure you guys so this is her welcome page let's go here to notable case yeah so over here you have the notable cases and you see mr william bill cosby she represented him you have other cases uh jose masonic sonnet robert aldemore charlie harrison and just click on some of these in articles and of notable cases and just familiarize yourself with her work and with her outcomes <laughs> successful outcomes by the way okay so let's click here um press oh so again these are just some looks like some small summaries probably you know of some cases that she handled and you see here in the past in new york times profile defending r kelly and bill cosby the same combative lawyer why they call so this is what New, it, New York Times, I, it looks like this is like a snippet, you guys. So she posted this on her website. Why would they call her a combative lawyer? Oh, my gosh. And again, this is not this is attorney Jennifer Bungie's website, but she's looks like it looked like she's grabbing snippets of you know, from articles and putting it you know, on her website regarding the cases that she handled. As you can see, let's see here. It says Jennifer Bungie has become known for her aggressive approach as she has defended men accused of S misconduct in several of the high profile cases of the me2too era so media okay this is the social media section of her page i don't see any updates i came here you guys the purpose is to see if there's any updates to her recent tweets oh my gosh so yeah and nothing here we have the last update it looks like april of 2023 on here Oh, and this is, this is, I did content on this, and this is, um, today a circuit court of Cook County judge vacated a 4 milli default judgment order against R. Kelly, and this was back in April of 2023. So, I like to come to the actual source, and I call it the horse's mouth, um, and I say that respectfully, because some of the news media channels, you guys, they could be hella biased in their reporting, and I don't know who allegedly pay paying some of these major media outlets, uh, the the big mainstream legacy from from CNN to NBC, ABC, MSNBC, all of that. The way they do their write ups, I'm telling you guys, pay attention. They all sound alike, like so monolithic. If they do not like or in favor of the person. And by the way, let me go ahead and share with you guys what I came across on MSNBC, which to me is a biased uh, reporting. It's NBC News article. This was posted recently, um, posted July 30th, 2024. And mind you, I've already did content on this. And I'll post the links in the description section of this post, where it's Attorney Jennifer Bonjean petitioned the United States Supreme Court, RE, and uh, the Mr. Robert Kelly's case, Chicago conviction case. So that's went up to the United States Supreme Court. So Attorney Jennifer Bonjean is waiting to see what if they are going to accept it. I've done content on this, but look at this write up, MSNBC. And they always start off disgrace singer. Okay, so you got to hear um, R. Kelly's appeals as crime convictions to U.S. Supreme Court. And look how they put here. Look at this, the disgrace singer. I'm telling you guys, if you see that on any media news website, that means they're biased, in my opinion. <laughs> they're biased. So MSNBC is definitely biased in their reporting. Why you just can't just report? Just report. But whatever. To each his own. They run their media platforms the way they do, um, even if they're allegedly <laughs> bought and paid for. Okay, this write-up is by Jordan Rubin, July 30th, 2024. And again, in my opinion, I'm not rocking with the write-up because... Although there are some key facts in this as to what happened, if you do not understand um, probably certain language, media-wise or certain language, legal-wise, you may think otherwise. So just try to self-educate you guys. Come up with your own thought process. You don't need people thinking from you. Empower yourself. 
empower yourself. I myself had to learn that over the years, especially the past 10 years. And my whole outlook on a lot of different sectors and topics has changed drastically when you begin to use context clues, <laughs> the basic comprehension skills, and be like, no, that's not what that's saying. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have anyone thinking from you for you, like the major media outlets, regardless, regardless. You don't even have to have myself here on the mix thinking from you for you. As I always say, fact check things. Hey, I'm I'm correctable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but so basically in this article and i'm not going to go over it uh the author is citing that r kelly is appealing his federal s convictions to the to the supreme court meaning the united states supreme court see he's not being clear and he's not being clear on where in this first paragraph in my opinion so what is r kelly um, attorney's appealing on his behalf and it's not r kelly as his attorney obviously so he's appealing his chicago conviction to the united states supreme court also to you guys we have the and i'm gonna jump down here in another case in New York that's under a separate pending appeal. So his New York case is still under appeal with the New York Supreme Court. So that's within the state of New York. So they don't give through this article. I don't think this particular journalist gives the exact sort of specifics to be more clear. Um, now here. Well, yeah, he said the Seventh Circuit Court of Pierce said in April. See, the language that they're using, you probably, for those who are not knowledgeable or aware, they probably wouldn't even understand this. So. And I'm not saying you guys won't, but yeah. Okay. So that's what I wanted to kind of touch on you guys. Also, the reporting aspect, the biased news, in my opinion, allegedly. Okay, you guys. So what are your thoughts? What do you think about that ex post from attorney Jennifer Bonjean? Do you believe or do you think um, that post is cryptic, a legal update? Perhaps the United States Supreme Court accepted Mr. Robert Kelly's case. And it will, if so, it will be up for review. Again, I'll drop the link in the description section of this post as to what that all means and did a video on it. Or do you think somebody is, is trying to do some shady stuff behind the scenes <laughs> to attorney Jennifer Bonjean? I mean, again, I call it a cryptic tweet because she did not go into any details and I was just like what what attorney Jennifer Bonjean don't play and for her to post something like that something had to possibly you know happen behind the scenes or perhaps Mr. Robert Kelly's New York appeals case has gone in his favor or will be going in his favor or something like that um, and I hope so because Harvey Weinstein's New York appeal case was overturned remember that see I've done a video on that so I'll drop the full link in the description section of this post but yeah update you guys uh, our Kelly's attorney who also represented Bill Cosby and Bill Cosby's convictions were overturned posted a cryptic tweet in my opinion on X formerly on his Twitter I don't know the context of it the details of it or what it actually means so hopefully maybe soon she'll add more context as you can see we went over her to her website and nothing sticks out there I encourage you guys to head on over to her website read it at your leisure uh, check it out from time to time to see if she posts any updates because sometimes she does especially on uh, outcomes and stuff sometimes she does I, I try to keep track with on a consistent basis I try to <laughs> but let me know your thoughts you know down in the chat like this video share this video again get this video out especially our Kelly supporters let's let's keep mr r kelly lifted up because this is a great miscarriage of justice again in my most humble opinion agree to disagree but yeah hey like this video share this video if attorney jennifer ranjean adds any context to what she did on x formerly on his twitter i will be coming back here on my channel to give you guys an update so thank you guys for your continued support those domestically and internationally i will be doing another giveaway this month so stay tuned stay connected to the mix like share subscribe and i will talk to you all soon bye